Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, we're going to discuss is your bench press grip width too narrow? Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If you need coaching, check out the link below. I would love to work with you. All right, so this is a pretty common thing. And there is a lot, I wanna, I wanna preface this by saying there's a lot of nuance when it comes to bench press grip width. We have to understand that we can't put everybody in the same group. There are different limb lengths, there's different leverages. I have longer arms. It might be easier for me to bench wide. With a wider grip, there are guys with shorter arms. It might make more sense to bench more narrow. So just consider this a generalization. What we wanna do is analyze the bigger picture rather than creating a set of rules. Now with that said, most people, and when I say most, I don't mean all, but most people that come to me with a bench press form video, I notice that their grip is almost always a little bit too narrow for their body type, for their limb lengths and leverages. What I mean is a lot of them are almost doing a close grip bench press. They just don't realize it. Now, this isn't the worst thing you can do. You're still going to get chest activation. We're not trying to create some big issues, some big scandal and proclaim you're not getting chest gains from using a slightly closer grip on bench. That's not the case and we're not trying to be reactionary and start all kinds of madness. With that said, when it comes to bench press grip width, the wider your grip, the bigger chance you're going to hit more of your chest and a little bit less of your tricep. You're still gonna hit your triceps during lockout. You're still gonna incorporate your front delts and to a degree your side delts. But the wider you go, just slightly wider, it's gonna to start to incorporate a little bit more chest. The average individual that comes to me has a little bit more narrow grip than they probably should. And this is going to tend to in involve a little bit more of the triceps and a little bit less of the chest, if that makes sense. Now, a good frame of reference is for the average individual, are your pinkies on the rings? This is probably a good starting point for someone that is trying to get a little bit more chest activation and push that a little bit away from the triceps end of the spectrum. Now, for guys with a little bit shorter arms, obviously, you're going to have to bring it in a little bit. That's okay. Again, we're not trying to create a rule. When I first came to powerlifting, when I first uh, learned about powerlifting, I think my my grip was about that far away from the rings and I actually started to move it out a little bit. I moved, actually moved it to pinkies on rings and eventually I do my ring fingers on the rings. That's where I bench now. So I slowly moved things out and as I did, I experienced a little bit more chest focus and a little bit less tricep stress. One of the more undervalued and under-targeted aspects of building a big bench is chest strength. The bench press inherently involves the front delts. It obviously involves the triceps during lockout, but we automatically assume that we can take whatever grip width we want and hit the chest effectively. Chest is kind of the, uh, the redheaded stepchild of the bench press world. We focus on our delts, we focus on our triceps, we just focus on benching in general, but we don't focus on our overall chest strength or maximizing chest strength. So. While you don't have to do only a slightly wider grip or more conventional bench press, it is a good idea to do that probably every other week, a little bit wider than you are now. Again, I'm not trying to create a rule, I'm not trying to say everybody has to have pinkies on the rings, but consider the fact that where you are now, it's probably a good idea to slowly move that grip width out a little bit, maybe a finger, maybe two fingers, maybe three fingers over time, and have a slightly wider week or a slightly wider bench day. If you are going to move your bench out, I recommend you do it very, very slowly. Move things out one finger a month. 
I moved, this is how I did it when I discovered power lifting. I started moving things out one finger at a month. This will allow for a more general, uh, smooth transition. And we don't want to encourage anything crazy like pec tears or unwanted pec stress. Let's do a slow transition, allow the connective tissue to uh, adjust, etc. Now I want you to analyze where your grip width is compared to the rings. Is it far away from the rings? If it is, it's probably a close grip bench. Is it just a little bit away from the rings? It could be uh, just slightly narrow. So we have to analyze where it is and ask ourselves, is there a little bit room to take it wider? If you're not sure, you can send me a video on Instagram at Ben the Barman or join TeamMassiveIron.com and I'd be glad to help you out. The big point, the big picture here is consider the possibility that you are part of the 60 to 70% crowd where your bench grip is a little bit too wide and you could probably benefit from pushing it out a couple fingers. Now, what is a close grip bench press? In the old school days, in 1986, 1995, the era I grew up in, a lot of guys were doing this as a close grip bench press really unnatural bodybuilding style close grip bench and that's not what a close grip bench press is. A close grip bench press just shifts the stress slightly inward, not dramatically inward. You don't go from here on your bench press to here, that's ridiculous. This is gonna cause uh, internal shoulder rotation, unwanted shoulder stress, and it's just gonna be bad on the shoulders and joints in general, the wrists as well. So what you wanna do is wherever your bench press width is, bring it in a palm. Bring it in a palm's width, and that will be your close grip bench. So if your bench is here, bring it in a palm, and that's your close grip bench press. You're gonna have your bench, on your bench, your arms are gonna be, I don't know, about 45 degree angle. When you bring things in, your wrists are still gonna be over your elbows on the close grip bench. It's just gonna be slightly more narrow. And we're gonna be transitioning some of the stress to the triceps. Whatever you do, don't overthink this stuff. Don't panic. Consider the fact that you could probably do with a little bit wider bench width. Start with a finger, maybe two fingers. Keep things natural. And when you're doing a close grip bench, bring it in about a palm's width. One final tip when you are doing the close grip bench press, if you want to transfer more stress to the triceps, you don't have to bring the bar to your chest. You can leave it a few inches above your chest. That way you're working more of the lockout and placing more of the stress on your triceps. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.